Check, check, hello, check, check, hello. Welcome back to Dr. Barber's Barber Shop. Ladies and gentlemen, today we will be ranking all of the new Paradox Pokemon released in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you enjoy this, this video or this kind of content in general, let me know, drop a comment, drop a like. I love you all so much. The game has been out for a couple months now and I've, I've been playing on the ladder. We've all been playing on the ladder. So we all kind of have a good idea of where these Paradox Pokemon fit into the meta. I want to discuss how they work a little bit. I don't want to get too deep. Don't want to make this video too long, but I want to uh, discuss their viability rankings competitively, especially on ladder and in competitive formats. So uh, here we are on tierlists.com with our ranking from S, A, B, C, uh, down to D tier and have all of the Paradox Pokemon past and future forms listed below. We have all the iron Pokemon and all of the past Pokemon with their organic, crazy, ancient names. So let's go ahead and, and kick this thing off. Let's just start here with the beginning with the one and only Great Tusk, the past form of Don Fan. Um, He's a beast. He, I think he's number one most used Pokemon in the meta still, or maybe number two after Goldengo. Um, he's, he's been top three, top since the game came out. The first and only ground and fighting Pokemon in the game. He's got incredible stats. I'm going to put all their stats right there so you can check out. Um, we'll kind of discuss their stats, and I'll go ahead and pull them up over here myself so I can discuss them with you. Bear with me. Got it. You know, great Tusk. What can you say? The guy gets incredible access to so many amazing moves, including Stealth Rock, including Rapid Spin. So there's your hazard control right off the bat. No, you can't switch in and stop him, Goldango, from spinning because he gets also access to Knock Off in addition to Headlong Rush and EQ, two, the most two powerful, the two most powerful ground type moves ever created. Um, and then, of course, fighting stab with close combat it's really only fighting moving on this guy he also gets bulk up it can run an incredible um av set that makes him so bulky look with this 115 hp 131 attack and 131 defense now he is a little frail on the special side but with that max with that hp maxed out he is able to eat you know a specs shadow ball from from dragapult or something like this slap an av on it give it eq close combat knockoff rapid spin an absolute beast this thing can switch in for days and scares you out and is great uh, utility with the spin there which also boosts its speed now 87 speed is very fast for a Pokemon this bulky and this offensive with the incredible uh, offensive typing such as ground and fighting and then of course the access to the dark just gives it I mean it hits almost everything super effectively great tusk is probably going to go into the s tier I don't know how it couldn't how could it not it's so good you could run it in the sun with its protosynthesis ability they all get protosynthesis or uh, um, power surge or whatever it is the quark drive um, you know, to boost its highest stat, right? So this guy comes in, it can boost its attack, it can boost its defense. Um, typically, those are the only two. In the sun, it's automatically boosted, right? You don't even have to run an energy booster. It can be a choice banded Pokemon. It can be a scarfed Pokemon. Um, but it's so good with, you know, coming in and getting rocks off so reliably and getting out. I love running a max defense body press set with Rocky Helmet. That's very common. This guy loves to run a a very uh what nature is it where you boost the defense minus special uh attack maybe that's impish i'm not sure but guys it can do so much it's so bulky hits so strong it's, it's really the lando t now when lando t comes out um when pokemon home drops very soon great tusks usage will drop off i don't think it will be s tier at that point i think some of these other pokemon may be above great tusk um, and I think there may even be the retesting of reintroducing the banned Pokemon like uh, um, Iron Bundle, right? And Fluttermane from Ubers back down to OU. We'll have to maybe retest that and see how those work against things that come out. Uh, Enamorous is looking scary. Heatran, things like this. But for right now, Great Tusk is a premier Pokemon in the game. Fits on almost every team. He's definitely S tier. Speaking of S tier, no, let's not do all that, but let's go ahead and then look at um, Iron Tread, Iron Treads, uh, his counterpart, the future Pokemon, uh, future past, future past Pokemon version of, of Donphan here. 
not seeing the same amount of usage as Great Tusk, but it's a great Pokemon. I think it's actually underrated. Uh, I th people know that it's good. It's faster. Let me go ahead and pull up his stats here. It's faster at base 106 speed. What in the world is this guy doing at 106 speed with that ground and steel typing? He is the superior uh, Excadrill. Now, he does not get Mold Breaker like Excadrill. So I think if Excadrill were ever reintroduced to the game, um, it... it Gonna kind of compete for viability with Iron Treads being, I think, not the only ground in, in Steel type, but definitely uh, the two best, right? They both get access to rocks and rapid spin, which boosts their speed. With When this guy gets um, a speed boost up with that 112 attack monster, it can sweep you. I think Iron Treads um, is not seeing as much usage because it really, it really thrives on an electric terrain team. And you don't see much electric terrain at all because the only terrain setter is pin kirchen and the thing's not too viable it can be it can be used as a spike setter it gets recover it gets a few other cool moves i think it gets nuzzle and you're just not seeing that quite as much as you're seeing torkoal in the sun right sun teams are so great right now um iron treads is a phenomenal terrestrial uh ter terrestrializing pokemon it can turn into a water type it can turn into a fire type it can turn into a flying type and really negate a lot of those weaknesses which can catch you off guard after a rapid spin it can turn into an offensive monster it's got great hp in 90 and really good defense in 120 so this thing's probably not dropping to one hit unless you take like a headlong rush from great tusk it's superior um past brother but this thing is also also a great AV user getting rapid spin as well. What else does this thing get? You know, EQ, Iron Head. It, it gets a, a wild charge, which is boosted when it's on the terrain. Um, great Pokemon. Obviously, Ground and Steel has a lot of great resistances. I know Tapu Koko is not in the game, but Ground and Steel is the premier check to things like Tapu Koko. You know, great Pokemon. Where are we going to put it? I, I Honestly, like I said, I think he's underrated. I think... I can't put him in beer. Let's well, write in beer tier, in B tier right now. It's tough. He's not quite S. I don't want to put everything in just A because I, you know, all these Pokemon are so good, right? They're they're all base five ten stat total, base stat total. So they're all great, right? And they all have so much uh, opportunity and so many ways you can work with them with that ability that boosts the stat um, in Protosynthesis and Quark Drive. Um, these are great. They obviously were just released in uh, version 2 or Gen 2 or whatever they call it in VGC, seg Series 2 VGC. Now you're able to have, I think, a couple of the Paradox Pokemon on your team, which you could not in, in um, Series 1. And, you know, you're seeing them everywhere. You're seeing how good they are and their, and their capabilities, especially with the terrestrialization options and their stat boosting capabilities. Compa I mean, what I'm doing is comparing these, po these Paradox Pokemon to the other paradox pokemon so i think right now ah it's hard to put him in b when he is that good i'll put him in b for right now but he's that he's uh, in my opinion b tier to a tier territory for iron treads right now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, brute bonnet now the grass and dark type pokemon the past version of amogus amungus the chosen one amungus is seeing a lot of action um, on the ladder right now in singles it's high usage in ou I'm not sure if it's top 10 don't think so but it's great that regenerator ability is still so good grass and poison is so good and you know spore is obviously still extremely good and brute bonnet i does not get spore unfortunately and you know the grass and dark type is not going to uh, it's going to be uh, four times week to u-turn which is still very popular Brute Bonnet does get Spore. And Stun Spore, okay. Brute Bonnet does get Spore. I think Brute Bonnet is best utilized, and I've seen a lot of its... You know, you see some usage of it. It's not not used at all. Uh, I think it's used a lot on Sun Teams in particular. A lot of these other Pokemon don't have to be on a Sun Team or an Electric Terrain Team. Like I said, Brute Bonnet does love to come in in the Sun and get a Growth off, which is going to boost that really high 127 attack by two in the sun and then he just can hit you really hard with a sucker punch with a not does not get knockoff what's the other the dark a crunch it hits you really hard with a crunch or a sucker punch or a um 
Oh, it gets close combat, you know, to hit the steel types. Seed Bomb is going to be its hardest hitting grass type move. Uh, Zen Headbutt is there. I believe he gets Poison Jab as well. Let me double check on that. No Poison Jab. Okay, so I'm way off. No Poison moves there. Of course, you can Terastalize into a Poison type uh, to hit the fairies that are going to try to counter you. Um, of course, it likes to Terastalize into a Fire type. Terra Fire um, in the sun is going to hit really hard, particularly after a... Uh, a growth with its plus two attack. Again, it's a very bulky Pokemon, so uh, it can even heal itself up if you wanna go special with it, with the Giga Drain. 111 HP is huge, especially with 99 defense and 99 special attack. The guy is a uh, is a tank. Unfortunately, it does not get the re uh, Regenerator like regular Amoongus, but it also gets Leech Seed, so it can be used as a defensive Pokemon, which, which it, makes even better use of when it terrestrializes and, and kind of gets rid of that quad weakness to, to bug. Uh, other things of note, it also gets access to taunt. Now, it's not the fastest Pokemon at 55 speed, but a lot of the slower Pokemon, I don't know, uh, Toxapex or things like this that are much slower than 55, it can definitely get a good taunt off on them. It also gets access to synthesis so it can heal itself back up. You know, in the sun, it's it's healing up 75% of its health rather than just 50%. I think it's a good Pokemon. I don't think it is the best grass and dark. We obviously have Meow Scarada, which is phenomenal. Uh, we also have uh, Wo Chien. Uh, it's it's a even bulkier and even better user of like a sub seed set. And Wo Chien actually gets access to knockoff, unlike um, a Brute Bonnet here. I don't want to put Brute Bonnet in C tier, but I also don't think Brute is as good as Iron Treads, to be honest with you guys. But he may be, he may be, because he hits really hard. If he gets a plus two up in the sun, very scary with Sucker Punch. <sighs> I think I got to put him in C. I think he may be low B. And, and Treads might even be A, you guys. Treads might even be A. But let's put him in C for now, just because outside of sun, he he's kind of outclassed by the other grass dark types. But he does get access to Spore, which is great. But Amoongus is there. But Amoongus is there. So let's put him in high C for now, low B. And we'll kind of revisit this once we get everybody on, on the board. Now, let's go ahead and talk about uh, Iron Thorns then. Future Tyranitar here is now a rock and electric type to match that Alolan Golem. It's going to quad resist flying, but it's going to be quad weak to ground. Still got that water and fighting weakness, still weak to grass like regular T-Tar, but no longer quad weak to fighting. A very interesting Pokemon. I think regular T-Tar almost outclasses it now uh, still because of the, uh, sand, the sand setting ability is always going to be great. And but he is still a great Pokemon, and it, it does still kind of appreciate coming on electric terrain to really make use of the quark drive ability. It can be a good energy booster, energy booster user, but it also likes to do things like set up stealth rock, and it also can set up spikes. So it's great at kind of bluffing an offensive set and coming in and setting up spikes and stealth rock. It's got incredible attack still like regular T-Tar at 134, and I even think that's T-Tar's base attack. What, very bulky, again, at the 100 HP and 110 defense. 84 Spadef, not as bulky as regular T-Tar is gonna be, especially not getting that sand, uh, boost the spadef boost in the sand setting it up for himself could still be an av user but i think this guy may even like to i guess use the booster energy maybe even life orb maybe even choice band maybe even focus sash but i think its greatest strength is going to be its dragon dance set right it still gets dragon dance and it also is going to like to terrestrialize maybe even into a flying or an ice type because it does get access to ice punch right so you come in and on an offensive set, maybe with a booster energy, get a dragon dance up. And now you've got Stone Edge and you've got Wild Charge. You got the two stabs there. Then you've got your yeah, Ice Punch there. You tear into an ice. But the thing is, you've got things like um, just bulky things, right? Like uh, Great Tusk or Don Dozo. And even Don Dozo is probably going to be able to eat a stab uh, Wild Charge. And this thing is going to take massive recoil. Um, but there are things that just outspeed it, right? Iron Valiant, um, almost a lot of the other 
um, Paradox Pokemon are going to either be able to take what it can dish out and re revenge kill it. It's just in that weird, awkward, and that's why you don't see it used too much. It's kind of good that it's good. It's just got that weird, awkward positioning where it, it can be good if it gets up like two Dragon Dances, but even then, you know, you've got Mach Punch, you've got Aqua Jet, you've got things, other Paradox Pokemon that come and get the speed boost, outspeed and kill it. So I do think it's great at coming in, maybe even with a Sash uh, or a booster energy, getting, getting, I guess, a defense or an attack boost is going to be tough to boost that speed. Um, but getting up rocks, maybe getting up spikes, maybe getting up a Dragon Dance and rocks, something kind of weird like that. But I do think it's going to make great use of terrestrializing into another type, maybe even terrestrializing into a pure uh, electric type, maybe even on a balloon. And, uh, it, it, you know, it, you can kind of play around with its with its set. It's still got crunch. It's still got earthquake, fire punch, great coverage, right? Like regular Tyranitar, of course, ice punch there. Does it get body pressed? I don't think you even want to run body press with that kind of a, with that kind of a de heavy slam. Lots of other good moves. It gets taunt as well. It gets swords dance as well, but the speed is just not there to really make use of swords dance unless it gets T wave as well. It gets a volt switch as well, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't even know that, but it's just not quite fast enough. And there are just so many other good options, especially if you're looking at just pure rock type. You've got gargantical things like that. Um, Ting Lu is going to check this thing forever. Um, I have to put it, I think, in C tier right now. I'm sorry, but that's not to say that it's not good and can't sweep you. Uh, I have a team, an electric terrain team with this guy on it that is actually really good. And I think it is the Terra Ice. But after one Dragon Dance, everything else is so powerful that it's just really tough to break through completely into sweep. Better sweepers would include like Iron Valiant, Volcarona, uh, Roaring Moon, things like this. But. And then, you know, you have better hazard setters like uh, Garchomp. So he's in that weird stage. I hate to put him down in C tier, but I don't think he's as good as some of these other Paradox Pokemon right now. All right, let's just get right into it. Uh, let's go back to the, pe the past Pokemon. Let's talk about Fluttermane, the ghost and fairy typing, the mega Mistrevis, uh, an incredible Pokemon that was quick banned when the game first dropped. I mean, looking at its, its HP and attack and defense are very bad, but it doesn't matter. It's a absolute glass cannon. Uh, I'd put it up there almost with Spectrier, what that was doing in, in Gen 8. Um, incredible special attack uh, at 135, incredible speed at 135. One of the fastest Pokemon in the game, only outsped by a very small handful of things like <laughs> Dragapult. Um, and, and the incredible coverage with Ghost and Fairy hits almost everything for at least neutrally or super effective. And then with this thing's options, with its protosynthesis ability to be able to, to use um, energy booster or put it on a sun team, you know, even just scarf or specs with this thing easily S tier. I'm going to put it even above Great Tusk. The thing it can boost with with like i said with the booster energy and with its protosynthesis being able to boost in the sun it fits on every team uh, it gets nasty plot access as well so you never know it could you know what it's going to do it can trick you it can cut does it i'm pretty sure it can trick right let me double check it cannot trick it can't trick you i take that back but it can do so many scary things with with being able to outspeed you memento destiny bond taunt Calm Mind, and it gets incredible coverage as well. You know, you've got obviously Shadow Ball um, and Moonblast. Not doesn't get Moonblast, I believe it does not get. It does get Moonblast. Okay, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, Psychic, uh, Mystical Fire, Me I'm Memento. If I didn't already mention that, Power Gem is there to hit uh, Volcarona even harder. Um, Psy Shock is there. I believe it still gets Calm Mind. Does it still get Calm Mind? Did I say that? Yeah, Calm Mind. <laughs> I mean, it just does, any, you know, like Thunder Wave, Hex. Does it still get Willow? Let me double check on Willow. Does not get Willow. That's okay, though, because it's coming to kill you. It just comes in. It can either get that uh, special attack boost and get that speed boost. It can be a life orb user. It's one of those that's tough to predict, but either way, it's going to just blow you back completely, like I said, with a nasty plot or with specs or with that special attack boost with protosynthesis. You know, it can even be just an AV user if you wanted to. And it just, it's going to be so bulky on the special side. 
and it's just going to oko you it, you have no switch ins with that kind of coverage right um grass electric ghost fairy it just hits so hard and it can hit you everything super effectively and it's so fast that's what really breaks it is its speed there's like nothing that outspeeds it in the game you're seeing it on a lot of teams in vgc also a great terra type terastalize user they can turn into a grass type it can turn into a fire type it can turn into an electric type you can do so you can turn it into a normal type to dodge that uh, you know other ghost attacks coming in it, it, it was it was quick band you know you can really only use it in singles now in uh ubers so we haven't gotten to play with it too much unless you're playing ubers but it's fun to see what it can do in vgc i understand why it was quick band i wish it wasn't because i had the idea for a ghost fairy mega miss miss uh miss drevis or miss magis way back i was like man can they give it a mega evolution make it ghost and fairy it'd be so good and they kind of did it and it's just that good now you guys unfortunately it's no longer usable but uh it's probably the best paradox pokemon period okay moving right along let's do let's do uh let's do iron hands uh future harry yama what a cool pokemon uh the brand new electric fighting type let me get him pulled up over here i've got him pulled up uh Hariyama and Palmy, Palmot line, I think are the only two uh, electric fighting Pokemon dropped. I don't think they dropped another one, but I know that they were the first two um, ever released in Pokemon, which is incredible <laughs> typing. And I'm going to go ahead and put him up in A. I don't think he's quite S tier, but it is so good. And I would say he's underrated, but he's grown in popularity. I think he's still OU right now, or maybe UUBL. Um, yeah, he's UUBL, but I think he may even uh, pop back up into OU because um, you see a lot of great usage. A phenomenal terastalize, terastal user turning into a fairy type, turning into a flying type. Um, but you don't even have to terastalize this guy because the, uh, the electric and fighting is so great offensively, but it also works very well defensively. Um, and incredible bulk, you guys. I mean, it's an, such an annoying Pokemon to face because it's got so many offensive options and he's so bulky. 154 HP is absolutely ridiculous. What are you doing? And 140 attack. So he hits so hard. He also gets access to Belly Drum. This guy's used all the time in Terror Raids, comes in Belly Drums, and you can get it all back with Drain Punch, can annihilate you with close combat, Wild Charge. I mean, it's just the tip of the iceberg of this thing's physical uh, off coverage, off physical coverage. Look here, close combat, drain punch, earthquake, goodbye everybody, fire punch, heavy slam, ice punch, play rough, rock slide, iron head. Also get sword stance if you don't want to belly drum up. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, thunder punch, it also gets, obviously wild charge, it also gets volt switch if you want to do that. It's so good as a, as a Pokemon that can come in and take advantage of the electric terrain. You don't see that too much, but a great um, energy boost user boosting that attack just hits so hard and he's so bulky. But really, I think the best item on Iron Hands is that AV. He's, it's the, the ideal assault vest user. With 154 HP and 68 Spadef, that Spadef is boosted very high with an AV. Makes this thing so difficult to take down, especially with a drain punch. He's just gonna be gobbling it all back. Very tough to, to take out, you guys. He's gonna, what, swords dance, drain punch. Uh, thunder punch ice punch earthquake i mean it's got so many options he can fit on every, almost every team now he does get a little bit of competition from uh, palmot because palmot's faster palmot's got double shock palmot's got some great offensive capability as well but palmot also gets that revival blessing which is still very good when you see palmot on teams you're like oh great it's probably going to have to heal up it's probably going to get up uh, a heal or two maybe with a lepa berry but Iron Hands is, you see a lot of it high high tier, high on the ladder. Uh, phenomenal, um, a Paradox Pokemon. If I'm missing anything about it, let me know, but there's just so many things. Can it, I believe it can bulk up as well. I cannot bulk up. Okay, so no bulk up. I don't think it gets, does it get Bullet Punch? No Bullet Punch. But you don't need it because it's just gonna be eating your hits. It gets Facade as well. It also gets Fake Out. Fake Out's cool. So many things it can do, you guys. I think I listed a lot of it, but you can even choice ban this thing, but AV is so great and it loves to boost the attack with the energy booster as well. Um, 
can't go wrong with an Iron Hands. A very scary Pokemon. If it starts, if he, if he, uh, especially if he tries, if he gets a belly drum off on you or a Swords Dance up and Terra's into a Flying type or something, you know, a Steel type or a Poison type, something that resists Fairy. Um, especially with an AV, you guys. A very scary Pokemon. Definitely A tier. And he, he's getting a lot of respect lately. Definitely an A tier Paradox Pokemon. Okay, let's look at uh, let's look at this guy. Um, Screamtail. Screamtail. A psychic and fairy type Pokemon. Let me pull her up, it up, him up over here. Scream, Screamtail. Protosynthesis user, so of course it can boost its incredible defensive stats in the sun. You don't see much um, booster energy on Screamtail because it does. It is such a support defensive Pokemon with incredible 115 HP, 99 defense, and 115 Spadef. You can build this thing to be defensive or specially defensive. It get, it's a great leftovers user, a great wish protect user. It's so bulky and it's so fast at 111 speed. So bulky and one of the fastest Pokemon in the game right now very thick wick wish passer but also if it's not coming in to set up wishes and pass those off and encore you with one 111 speed a great encore user good luck getting out of that when it outspeeds you um, if it's not doing that it also has a phenomenal offensive capabilities with calm mindset wish calm mind it also gets access to um stored power psychic dazzling gleam moonblast i believe does it get Moonblast? No, no, it does not get Moonblast. I remember that. It also gets Flamethrower, though, so that's going to cover those Steel types. It does get Dazzling Gleam. Boom Burst is on there. Didn't know that. Very interesting. Boom Burst, Grass Knot, Ice Beam. Awesome special coverage. Um, also gets Stealth Rock, so phenomenal rocker. A lot of great opportunities here for Screamtail. It does get some competition from Hatterene right now. Hatterene is so good right now, uh, being a defensive Pokemon with the Magic Bounce ability. It's it's easy to switch into things like Great Tusk, which you see on every team as Hatterene right now, um, blocking hazards. But Screamtail, when you see it on the other team, I when I see it, I'm like, oh great, this guy knows how to use Screamtail. Is it going to be a Wish Passer? Is it going to be a setup? Uh, offensive special sweeper it is a very good Pokemon it, it, like I said it can be built either way offensive or it can be specialty specially defensive or physically defensive it can even be a rocky helmet user uh, but it does like to run speed a lot of times it's just ran with speed and HP so that it can get that encore off on you uh, it also gets trick it also gets access to setting up screens reflect and light screen I would say it's a, a great terrestrializer, but you don't see it too much because Psychic Fairy is decently good um, on the defensive side. And there are other better terror users you're typically gonna want on your team. Unless you get this thing, if you're using an offensive set with Calm Mind, maybe a water type, maybe a pure fairy, maybe a steel type, maybe a fire type, something like that. It's gonna be really good. Maybe even a dark type would be interesting. But um, the Encore tech is so good and so clutch being that fast. It also gets bulk up. That's interesting. But really, if you guys check this Pokemon out, it gets a lot of really cool um, tech and can be built, like I said, uh, defensively passing wishes, setting up rocks, or uh, uh, especially offensive, or I guess physically offensive too. Um, I'm going to put it in the B tier right now. I think it's pretty close to in line with uh, Iron Treads. I think they're both great Pokemon. I don't think either one of them is as good as Iron Hands, but I think the, it's at least a B tier. Now, this is just for Paradox Pokemon. This isn't compared to the whole, the whole Pokedex, because otherwise these guys would probably be up way high, because they're all really, really good. But I'm just comparing them, comparing them to the other Paradox Pokemon for right now. Okay, let's talk about um, Iron Bundle next. Uh, essentially, the counterpart to the future counterpart to Fluttermane here. Um, almost just as or faster, I believe, by one speed point. Yeah, look at this base 136 speed and 124 special attack. This thing is a special offensive monster. It's only outsped by a very few things like Dragapult, but it's going to outspeed almost everything when you get that speed boost with its Quark Drive ability or with an Energy Booster. One of those Pokemon that's very not hard to use. It's, it's almost like a noob type Pokemon. Doesn't have incredible coverage, but you don't need it. It's a Water and Ice type. I think one of the only Water and Ice types in the game. 
being so fast, and it's actually got a really good physical uh, defense at uh, 114. Now, obviously 56 HP is not great, but it's gonna be able to take a hit or two on the defensive side. Um, what makes it so good, of course, is that speed and its access to boosting its speed or its special attack um, with uh, the energy booster. But, and, it, and again, it does not get too many crazy moves. It doesn't get nasty plot like Fluttermane. It doesn't get Calm Mind like Fluttermane, but it doesn't need it when it outspeeds you and kills you in one shot with Choice Specs Ice Beam, with Choice Specs Surf Hydro Pump. Um, it does get Encore, it does get Taunt. What can you do now? When you get outsped or in encored and you get outsped and taunted, this thing is just free roam to just start killing, picking off your Pokemon. Ice Beam is going to be great. Um, it also gets access to U turn and flip turn, which are very, like, very good moves and they're not too distributed. So this guy's going to be a great user of that. Of course, it's going in the S tier because it's so fast and it can just Oko you. Um, like I said, a great choice specs user, a great scarf user. Also a phenomenal energy booster user. Um, all it it gets freeze dry as well to hit those other water types that would like to come in and check it. And it, obviously, like I said, ice beam, hydro pump, freeze dry, Terra blast is there, right? So if you want to turn into a grass type or a fire type and take some of those resistances away, Terra blast fire, Terra blast electric, Terra blast fairy, um, may not need that, but it just it, it, it's a it's a very kind of easy Pokemon to use. Yeah, it is weak to Stealth Rock initially with that Ice type. You could run Heavy Duty Boots and keep switching this thing in and um, taunting and encoring things with that incredible speed. But it's really just an all around phenomenal offensive Pokemon that's going to come in and pick up a kill. It's going to revenge kill you with that speed. And Ice and Water has phenomenal, it gets that in stab coverage too. It has phenomenal coverage. You don't need much on this Pokemon. It was also very quickly banned. It's also in Ubers now with your Flutter main there. I'm gonna put it right next. I'm gonna put it up here. I don't know if it's better than Great Tusk. It might be better than Great Tusk. Great Tusk is not banned, but um, I didn't get to use it too much before it was banned, but I know how good it is just looking at its stats and the coverage that it has. Incredible Pokemon with, I mean, again, I think once other Pokemon are released, like Snorlax could check this thing, right? If that were ever in there, it's because we do have kind of a limited Pokedex right now, and especially in the speed tier category. So these faster Pokemon that are like the fastest in the game and hitting that hard, I mean, they're basically like Ubers uh, at a certain point. So that's why they are in the Ubers tier, at very clearly an S tier Pokemon uh, for Iron Bundle. Okay, next let's look at um, Sandy Shocks here because Sandy Shocks is a very underrated and very cool Pokemon in my opinion. Uh, I mentioned Sandy Shocks a while back in the 10 Crazy Terra Pokemon a couple months ago when he first dropped and you don't see it used very much. I think it may be down in RU or not RU, but uh, it's in UU right now. An electric and ground type Pokemon with base 101 speed, very troll speed. Wait, base 100 was that gold standard. Chi, uh, Chi Yu was gone now. So um, a great Pokemon with a great speed, not incredible stats, but like very, very good stats. 85 HP and 97 defense and 85 spadef solid bulk, right? It's not 100s across the board like Jirachi or Celebi or Victini or something like this, but bulky enough to take a hit. And it's really designed for like one purpose, an offensive utility Pokemon. Again, with the Protosynthesis, he's a great user of the energy booster, great Pokemon in the sun. You don't see it very much, but it's underrated because it does have quite a few weaknesses with ice, water, grass, ground, um, with with that typing, which are pretty common. But uh, the the best part about Sandy Shocks is its ability to terrestrialize, and again, I think into a fairy type because it gets that stab electric and stab ground, which is f incredible offensive coverage. It hits a lot of things super effectively, things that would resist it, like uh, dragons or something. You turn into a fairy type, you're hitting almost everything super effectively with those three stab coverages, fairy, electric, and ground. It's a, again, a pretty simple Pokemon 
to use. It's got great speed, like I said, 101 to get up Stealth Rock and Spikes. It gets both of those hazards. Also gets a Volt Switch, a pretty fast Volt Switcher. It loves to, it can be a great Scarfer, it can be a great Specs user, and a great Terrastalizer. And again, it, I don't think it gets any setup moves like Calm Mind or Nasty Plot, but it can definitely come in late game and get a speed boost with an I with an energy booster or boost its special attack if you are going to be able to outspeed all the rest of the pokemon on the other team with that base 101 speed but i think it does get kind of outclassed by some other ground types like garchomp like great tusk like uh iron treads and other electric types as well rotom's there iron hands there uh, several other uh, electric type pokemon are there but they all don't they it's got a really cool niche for what sandy shocks can do from setting up those rocks and then volt switching out and being able to hit you um with grout with stab ground types as well and uh let's see what the other coverage i know it gets obviously uh, earth power right um discharge um thunderbolt so it doesn't need too much but it's gonna um, be a great user of obviously volt switch and terra blast terra fire terra fairy um, terra ice is gonna be great for this pokemon and that's that's about all it does um, it's not gonna be as as huge of an offensive threat as something like these two guys here um but it does do a great job you, you want to stick it on your team on a sun team it's very interesting and it's since it's so underutilized and underused it can really kind of catch you off guard you're like oh what does this thing do then it tears to a fairy type and sweeps your whole team or it sets up starts spike stacking on you and volt switching around or just annihilates you with choice specs or something so i think it's a very cool ancient um magneton pokemon also gets power gym there it gets screens there's light screen uh, does it get reflect i'm not sure if it gets reflect does it get reflect let me see because a lot of pokemon it does get reflect so a lot of pokemon will get light screen and not reflect which is kind of interesting but there you go guys it gets body press don't think it's going to use that um you can use it physically it gets earthquake wild charge things like that but that's all it did they didn't give it too much coverage because then it would be broken but um a really good terrestrialized pokemon maybe even into a flying type terra flying but i i think i'm gonna put sandy shocks um oh man it's tough i think either c or b i don't think it's d i don't think it's quite as good as the other two i gotta put it here in c tier but I, it could be a b tier pokemon you guys i'm telling you put this thing on a sun team or give it life orb give it a life orb or choice specs because it's got, like i said it's got that speed at 101 speed so it's going to outspeed a lot of things and it's got enough bulk to take a hit put a terra fairy on this thing with terra blast volt switch thunderbolt and earth power and watch how much work this thing does it'll take out two or three of the other pokemon and they'll be like what happened in fact i want to do a live very soon with with sandy shocks I, I think it's a very cool pokemon and very underrated oh and of course it gets flash cannon so there you go and t-wave if it didn't mention t-wave it gets t-wave as well great utility iron jugulus iron hugulus iron jugs okay iron jugs is a very interesting and very uh, very cool pokemon it has been underrated but recently iron jugs has seen a lot more usage uh, i think maybe that has to do with uh, the Chien Pao band perhaps band perhaps but this pokemon is is it lost some things that hydreigon had like nasty plot like roost like defog does it get defog i'm pretty sure it does not no, it lost a lot of things that Iron that uh, that uh, Hyde had, but it still has phenomenal um, offensive presence. It can hit you on both sides, but it's going to prefer that special side with uh, 122 special attack and 108 speed. A great speed that's going to outspeed a lot of Pokemon, especially those base like 105s, those 100s. Um, it's going to outspeed you, so it's actually a really good Scarfer. It's actually a really good. Um, choice specs user and even life orb user since it no longer gets recovery it's kind of you know gonna come in and do things and just hit you hard it gets incredible coverage um it gets stab hurricane uh it actually gets knock off which it makes use of it still gets u-turn i believe u-turn and then of course it gets a, a plethora of coverage moves earth power fl uh, flamethrower flash cannon focus blast 
Like I said, Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Iron Head, if you want to go physical. Uh, Knockoff is there. Outrage is still there. Um, and then, of course, Taunt is there. So definitely going to be probably a staple move on Iron Jugulus' set uh, is Taunt because it's going to be able to outspeed a lot of Pokemon with base 108. Zen Headbutt is there. Tailwind is there. Roar is there. Substitute, of course. And Substitute's seeing a lot more action now. Um, really great coverage. I think you're going to be able to pick out of those moves. Also, Crunch. Uh, acrobatics. It would get Stab Acrobatics if you wanted to run that. But, uh, you know, Energy Booster Acrobatics. But doesn't get Dragon Dance anymore. Doesn't get some of these other things that Hyde had. Uh, that Iron or that um, Roaring Moon gets. So I understand why it's kind of underutilized. Flying in Dark is a very good typing. And it's it's really, really good um, defensively. If you think of something like... Um, uh, Eveltal in the Ubers or Mandibuzz from previous gens. Uh, but it's just so unfortunate that it no longer gets Roost, Defog, Nasty Plot, Dragon Dance. Took away a lot of it. But I think that maybe a lot of these Pokemon are going to get some of those moves back um, when the DLC drops and perhaps there are move tutors there. Maybe a lot of these guys are going to turn very broken uh, when if move tutors come out. We don't know yet. But it is a possibility Dragon Pulse is there. I don't think it gets Draco Meteor anymore. So they, they nerfed it a little bit. It does get Fire Blast. Um, but, you know, again, this thing can come in and outspeed you with, with a boosted special attack late game from the booster energy. Great on an, an electric terrain team. Not really. You don't see it much. But um, a very cool Terastalize user. Turn this thing into a Poison type or to a Steel type, right? Or into a Dragon type. But... It likes to come in and click like specs like Hurricane, you turn out, taunt you, Dark Pulse you, things like that. It's got its own niche, but without terastalizing, it's going to get annihilated by like an Ice Shard or, you know, something else that's going to come in and outspeed it, like maybe a, an Iron Valiant, right, with a speed boost. So cool good pokemon it does have a lot of great coverage so it's really that surprise factor pokemon that'll hit you with an earth power right or a flash cannon or a fire blast or flamethrower or a hydro pump or something like that so uh good pokemon it's getting a lot more usage recently um i think i'm gonna put it in in b tier for right now um because it's definitely not bad it just lost a lot of things that it, it wishes it still had um so Iron Jugs, cool Pokemon. We'll see how it continues to evolve as the meta continues to evolve and, and develop. Okay, let's do Past, Paradox, Volcarona, Slither, Wing. Slither Wing is very good. Um, I was seeing it more used earlier on. I haven't seen it too much on the ladder recently. People still love using it on a Sun team with obviously its Protosynthesis ability. Um, I think it's a great Pokemon and it has a lot of really cool utility and a lot of really good offensive options. Uh, it's probably most notably used with um, first impression, right? Being a bug and fighting type like Heracross, but it also has that trolley 81 base speed. So it's gonna outspeed everything base 80 and below, which is a lot of the metagame. Um, but if you're faster than it, it is actually the strongest hitting priority user ever released in Pokemon with that stab first impression at 135 attack. Great bulk at 85 HP, 79 defense, not the bulkiest. They had to give it a weakness kind of somewhere, but 105 spadef gives it good bulk on the special side. It also makes it a usable AV user, but I think it's even better choice band user because it gets so many great offensive moves. Like it gets U-turn, stab U-turn, close combat. Uh, I don't believe it gets Drain Punch, but it does get that, it gets Lunge, which is cool, the 80 power bug stab attack that's going to lower your uh, attack at 100% of the time. Uh, dual Wing Beat is great for things that are going to resist it, like other fighting types, um, bug types. And then, of course, it gets fire moves like Volcarona gets. It gets uh, f Flare Blitz. It also gets Flame Charge. Um, really cool offensive moves there. It also gets recovery in Morning Sun. So that's a lot of these guys are not getting recovery. In fact, it may be. No, I think uh, uh, Iron Moon or Roaring, Roaring Moon gets uh, recovery as well. But it's one of the very few that actually gets recovery. Screamtail gets recovery as well. Um, synthesis on Brute Bonnet. But it gets it actually gets Morning Sun, which is great. It also gets Stun Sport. It also gets uh, Will-O-Wisp. So it can status you, catch you off guard there. 
it can get it gets wild charge as well to hit those bulky water types you can terrestrialize this thing into an electric type into a fire type get that hard hitting fire stab hard hit hard hitting electric stab um zen headbutt is there as well to hit the poison types that like to resist this like uh, toxapex or Claude sire so really cool pokemon there leech life is there for recovery move hitting really hard getting 50 percent of that health back as well um, it also it doesn't have the best special attack but it gets a lot of cool special uh coverage moves bug buzz flamethrower giga drain moves like this uh, and again it loves just to come in and abuse like choice band with um, U-turn and things like that in first impression close combat flare blitz is going to hit almost everything neutrally or super effectively very good very cool Pokemon and th its power can't be overstated it is very 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 powerful earthquake is there as well you could even energy booster acrobatics flying type as well catch things off guard um, a, a lot of cool offensive play with this Pokemon but even then it can be a bulky Pokemon like I said, with Will-O-Wisp and Morning Sun and you turn out, it can even use heavy duty boots. So it's got a lot of really cool options. Check it out if you guys haven't used it. I know some people say they don't think it's that good, but I'm telling you, it's really good. It gets bulk up as well, I believe. Yeah, bulk up as well for setup, right? So you never know what it's going to do. Oh, I got to switch out or it's going to Oko me with banded first impression. Not it's leftovers bulk up or it's like specially defensive with bulk up. And it gets it all back with uh, leech life. So a great Pokemon. I want to put it almost in A tier. It's at least B tier. And again, it, it can be a really good um, energy boost or booster energy user. Uh, it's great on sun teams, especially if you terrify it with a with a flare blitz in the sun. Nothing's living that. Um, phenomenal Pokemon, you guys. Past Paradox, Volcarona. It's got to be high beer, high beer, <laughs> high beer tier. Yeah, it's got to be up there with these guys. I don't know if it's quite as good as Iron Jugulus because that thing, it's just got so many great Terra options and so much bulk. Um, but it is up there. I'm going to put it also in B tier. Iron Treads might even go up here because I think Treads is probably better than most of these guys. But I think he's about even with Treads. These guys could almost be A tier when I'm comparing them to these other two. But then again, this thing is really good too. Low key, uh, Screamtail is very, very, very good. It's tough to say. These guys are again between A and B tier. Um, but for right now, let's put him right here next to Iron Treads, even though this thing could definitely be A. It's right around there. I'm going to give him A minus B plus. Let's just put him A minus B plus for right now. And then, of course, you have Iron Moth, its counterpart, its counterpart, future Volcarona here, being a fire and poison type. Unlike Slither Wing, which is fighting and bug, it has no matching types, but it has a lot of great coverage moves like Slither Wing. This guy's going straight to A tier. You see it used a lot, even though it is weak to rocks. Um, you, this thing is just, you know what it's likely going to do. It's likely going to have grass, Terra, and hit you with energy ball. Fire, poison, and grass is hitting everything like really, really hard. Look at this guy's stats. 140 special attack and 110 speed almost ban worthy not quite ban worthy it's very frail on the physical side 80 hp is good 60 defense not good great special bulk at 110 spadef guys this guy's such a good lead you, you, you can do look, let me tell you what this guy can do bug buzz dazzling gleam energy ball fiery dance boost that special attack Fire Blast, Flash Cannon, Hurricane, gets recovery in Morning Sun, Overheat, Psychic is going to hit things like, again, Toxapex, Claude Sire, Sludge Wave, that's going to blow all, everything back, Terra Blast, of course, if you want to turn it into something weird like um, Electric or Dragon or something, gets U-Turn. Gets U-turn, put heavy duty boots on it, come in, scare you out, you turn out and you've got momentum. Um, of course, great lead toxic spikes. So lead, sash, terra grass, you toxic spikes up, you hit things with uh, ener stab energy ball, things that like to switch into resist it, like I don't know, Don Dozo or something. It the the energy ball is so scary. The hurricane is there as well. It's such a scary offensive mon. It speaks for itself, being that fast again at 110 and outspeeds 
a lot of the game there, and it hits so hard at 140 special attack. Oh, it also gets a discharge. I think I mentioned that, so you don't have to Terra, you don't have to Terra Electric to hit that. Um, it just loves. You don't have to even use Terra Blast at all. What? It, it, it gets agility as well. I, you can definitely, this thing loves to use agility, right? Energy booster is such a good uh, item on this Pokemon. It comes in late game. You can use it as a lead or a late game. Come in, get the boost with energy booster to that special attack, agility up, and it's GG's. Nothing, I mean, you're going to outspeed everything. You're going to have to have, like, I would say Aqua Jet Azum Azumarill, but this thing's probably going to tear into a grass type, and you're not going to do anything to it. So a, a great Pokemon, it, like I said, speaks for itself. Not, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like super easy to use like Iron Bundle or something because you can't, you know, it is weak to rocks in that initial switch in and um, the booster energy is kind of a one-off there, but it could be a great specs user. I like using it as a scarfer as well. It outspeeds a lot of things with scarf, catch things off, you know, off guard by surprise. Phenomenal Pokemon, easily A. I definitely think it is probably better than these other guys. Again, I think a lot of it has to just do with its speed and uh, extreme power and great coverage. There's gonna gonna be able to hit almost everything super effectively. And then it's, it's terrestrial options into a, especially a grass type or a water type, something like that. Definitely an A tier Pokemon there for Iron Moth. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to uh, gonna go ahead and finish this video right now. I'm going to try to move quickly because they uh, have started doing construction right outside my window here. And you can probably hear them banging around right now very loudly. And I sincerely apologize. I tried to get this in before they started. Um, there's not much I can do. I'm going to go ahead and we only have two more. So we'll go ahead and get this get this done right now. Uh, Roaring Moon, obviously, past Paradox Salamence, one of the best Pokemon in the game, in my opinion, an incredible sweeper. Um, look at that attack stat, 139 and 119 speed. Oof. Um, so good as an energy boost, uh, energy booster user, a booster energy, I always say that wrong. Um, and a choice band user as well, with access to things like U-Turn, Crunch, Earthquake, um, a scale shot, outrage, you know, fire fang. It gets such good um, physical coverage. Stone Edge is there. Zen Headbutt's there. Throat Chop, of course. Um, it also gets access to Roost, which is great. It's got real. It's got really good <laughs> special defense and really good HP at 105 and 10 and 101 Spadef. Um, kind of frail on the physical side, but not not too frail at 71 with the HP kind of making up for it. Um, it gets taunt as well with that really good speed. So I really like using this thing even with like a kind of a bulky uh, taunt roost U-turn crunch set, really good. Try that out if you haven't. Again, a great choice band user. And then of course, it's probably its best set in my opinion if not on a sun team to come in and get that attack boost or speed boost with the protosynthesis is that booster energy dragon dance set a phenomenal terrestrializer into a, especially a flying type and using that acrobatic stab after a dragon dance everything just drops earthquake crunch are there to kind of fill it out nothing's really i mean don dozo is there to, to ignore it all with unaware but it's so it's so powerful and so good as a late game sweeper uh, a wonderful terrestrializer you guys you can turn to a fairy type a steel type um but even dark and dragon is fine you're getting really good coverage um and of course if something's gonna if something's gonna come in to to resist that you can just always u turn out not weak to rocks because it's not a flying type but it can do so much i understand why this is kind of the the in game big banger paradox pokemon of pokemon scarlet um incredible speed and i think maybe even potentially in the future it could be banned but i don't quite think it will because you have things that are really scary like like dragonite or like dragapult um that are you just as incredible or maybe even better as fast scary offensive dragons but this guy is so good and you never know exactly what it's going to be but you have to watch out for it if you see it on the other team because it's definitely can sweep you in the back got to keep your big bulky check healthy to handle that um i'm gonna put him in s tier there's no way that i couldn't um he's better than these two guys in a tier and has more even more options and recovery and gets taunt and is faster and hits 
just as hard. So, uh, and it's got Dragon Dance and it, you know, so it's got to be an S tier um, Pokemon for sure. And finally, Iron Valiant, easily an S tier Pokemon. I'm going to put it up here with Great Tusk and the other guys, Roaring Moon. I think it's maybe even better than Roaring Moon. It is the king slash queen, whatever it is. It's definitely non-binary, gender neutral. I think it's a great Pokemon. I kind of like the, the design they chose with it, really combining Gallade and Gardevoir into one. Look at that energy, like Darth Maul blade. That is extremely nasty. I think this is probably one of my favorite design Pokemon of all time. I love the color scheme i love the shiny and this thing is i mean just you guys got to know about what it can do by now right it's offensive options 116 speed 120 special attack and 130 uh attack and it's the only pokemon ever that is fairy and fighting type which is incredible it's going to quad resist a sucker punch which is a lot of times what you want to hit it with because it's so fast it loves to come in with an energy booster and get that speed boost late game terrestrialize into an electric type into a water type into a psychic type and then it can hit you on either side right it's just got such good coverage it's got every move in the game not really but it can swords dance up it can calm mind up right hit you on both sides it can encore you it's that fast but you know it can be choice band choice specs it's got moon blast you know close combat it can be a mixed attacker with life orb it it's you can't go wrong with this thing it's got just enough bulk on the physical side at 90 defense to take a hit and kill you back and then then you're sol it's just it's too fast and too strong definitely an s tier pokemon i think it's probably on par with with great tusk i mean obviously it's even better offensively just because it probably has the most offensive utility not utility because it's not setting up rocks but capability uh in the game in my opinion i think they made it that way because tusk is or uh moon is there for just great power you know dragon dance choice ban and then this guy you switch in your what your Claude Sire, it swords dance ups and hit and turns into a sidekick type and hits you with Zen Headbutt. Or you switch in a physically defensive Pokemon and it just blows you back with a Moon Blast or a Focus Blast. You know, it gets Thunderbolt, uh, let's see, Energy Ball, fi Fire Punch, gets Knock Off. You can turn this thing into a Dark type and click Swords Dance and Knock Off. Psycho Cut is there. It gets Shadow Sneak and Shadow Claw, Spirit Break, Swords Dance, like I said, Taunt. Thunderbolt is there to hit things that are a big bulky water types. I love turning this thing into an electric Terra. It's going to resist the flying type that wants to hit it. It gets trick if it wants to trick away a choice specs or a choice scarf. It's got so much offensive presence and utility. It's, it's tough to predict. You're just going to have to somehow outspeed it or set up a ton of hazards and hit it with priority or something. But it is a phenomenal. I mean, you got to live one hit from it and try to revenge kill it. Otherwise, it easily is one of the best sweepers in the game. Easily an S tier Pokemon. I'm so sorry about the construction they're doing right outside my window right now, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. If you will, drop a like for the construction. Just drop a like for the construction. We'll let them know. Um, so there we go. There's the t there's where they stand currently and kind of in my opinion maybe sandy shocks can move down here maybe slither slither wing can move up here into a i think it's pretty solid here with the s tier i think that might even be in the order that i would kind of put them in pretty close to something like this is pretty close to the order brute bonnet is really good and brute bonnet's probably almost maybe just as good as iron jugs i hate to put iron thorn so low it's not a bad pokemon it's got a lot of great offensive presence and options um, again it gets rocks t spikes it volt switches you just don't see electric terrain so i think a lot of the uh, uh pokemon scarlet paradox the past pokemon are a little bit better right now because Torkoal's so good for setting up sun but there you go guys let me know if you kind of agree with this list or not maybe where you put the other guys and if i missed something maybe you know let me know in the comments if there's something that makes one of these guys better than the others or a, ter a terra type that makes them even more broken or your favorite tech to use on these guys so let me know how you feel about it you guys thank you so much for watching again i apologize for being sick and i apologize for the sound but i love you guys with all my heart so much Take care. God bless.